officially been over a month since the death of slim shady came out now i did a first thoughts video on it but i want to come back you know a month later and give my thoughts now because some opinions have changed i want to talk about the stats on how well it sold and i want to talk about the big easter egg everyone's been talking about now first off the album debuted and peaked at number one on the billboard top 200 and that's an achievement in itself but it also sold 281,000 copies in its first week now i've seen a lot of comments talking about that's not a lot of sales if you compare it to like the eminem show you know it's not as impressive but i do want to say it's 2024 we don't have a lot of physical music around it's all spotify it's all streaming we've talked about that a lot so you can't really compare a modern album sales wise you kind of got to compare it to streams so yeah just keep that in mind and yes it did peak number one now of those 281,000, 114,000 were actual physical sales the rest were streams if you're wondering that makes about 220 million streams yes that's just the first week which means eminem officially has the biggest debut week for an album for any rapper so far this year in the US. So yes, the numbers are impressive. I'm also seeing the album a lot more places than I did in the beginning. For example, Houdini is going into Madden, the video game. I don't really know how that affects sales, if it counts as a stream, if you're playing the game and it shows up or not, but either way, that's pretty cool to see. I've played Madden like my entire life. Fucking shitter. GG. Nah, kill yourself, you fucking shit. I've never seen such pass so interference in my fucking life. You're zero dead shit, bro. You're quarter. abusing zero. Th I'm gonna lie, you're pretty good. And I don't know if I've ever heard an Eminem song in Madden. Maybe like 2013 or something, but it's been a long time. My favorite track is definitely Fuel still. I believe I said that in my first thoughts video, but Jid just does amazing in the beginning, and then Eminem just keeps the flow for the rest of the song. So Fuel is my favorite song. Let me know your favorite song down below. However, Brand New Dance is definitely my second favorite. You can tell it's not AI. I talked about ai a lot in my other video i'll talk about it a little bit more in this one but brand new dance is amazing it just has the whole encore eminem show theme brought into a track i stand by the fact kobe could have been a lot better with how good big sean is big sean had a good verse i can't lie about that but i expected more out of babytron babytron can rap if you've listened to babytron you know he could keep up a lot better than he did i know he was on the hook but it just kind of felt like he was talking and i stand by the fact the beat never like dropped it felt like the song was about to start for the entire song so i expected more from toby it might be the weakest on the album let me know if you agree with that but yeah toby wasn't as good as i thought but speaking of the ai voice in the beginning i ranted a lot about ai even while i was listening to it like for the first time i was just hating on the ai but it's definitely grown on me i think i was way too picky in the beginning like i had my volume really high but i stand by the fact you can hear it's ai if you listen for it but it's just not something that annoys me anymore. It doesn't stand out. It actually switched to a positive, in my opinion, because if he was trying to mimic the Slim Shady voice without, you know, using some sort of software to enhance it, I think it would have just ended terribly. If he was, like, trying to naturally pitch up his voice, I think it would have ended up worse than what we got with this. So I'm not too mad about the AI voice anymore, but it was definitely something that took a little bit of getting used to before I accepted it, I guess. Now, before we go any further, I do want to say the channel is partnered with Audible now. Audible is a subscription that you get and you can get audiobooks that you play on your phone so you can listen to them later. With over 200,000 audiobooks, you can basically guaranteed find something that you'd be interested in. For example, this book right here, which is basically a biography about Eminem, or this one that talks about the history of all of hip hop. So if you're interested in audio, Audible, you can sign up with this link right here or the link in the description. I use it personally and I listen to books all the time while I'm working. And if you use that link, you'll get one to two audiobooks that come with your free trial. So I recommend Audible if there's any audiobooks you're interested in listening to. Thank you to Audible for partnering. Now for the Death of Slim Shady Easter Egg, you might have guessed it, it's backwards. So let me pull this up right here. You can see Death of Slim Shady back to front tells a whole different story. Somebody Save Me, which is the last track, is foreshadowing Marshall's death. Guess Who's Back foreshadows the return of Slim Shady. Toby, the song that I just said I didn't like, this part doesn't really make sense to me, doesn't pan out, Shady Shadow shows up, bad one, one minute you're here, the next you're gone, it's like Marshall's job is done, he pulled off his stunt, Temporary, which is his letter to Haley before he dies, it's kind of hard to forget that song, then this is where it gets good, Guilty Conscience 2, Slim Shady laughs after Paul hangs up on him showing it wasn't a dream, then the breaking news skit where Slim Shady's showing Marshall everything that he just started and he starts laughing at the end. Then Houdini, this is really about the beginning with that phone call with Paul. You know how he says good luck at the end? It's basically his comeback to Marshall because he thinks Marshall's just messing with him. But remember in that track, Eminem says, what you thought you saw ain't what you saw. Just keep that in mind. Road Rage, Slim dyes Marshall's hair blonde again. If this is confusing, I know it's kind of confusing. There's a bunch of different characters, but just try and bear with me. Yeah, so Slim dyes Marshall's hair blonde again. So Marshall is Slim. And he's just rapping with blonde hair the rest of the way. Fuel just took the quote, the reapers come into heathen and I need it from me. Then Antichrist, 
Cobain put the gauge to his brain, I'm going out with a bang, A. Eh? Once again, before I keep going, just try and bear with me because this might not all connect together. It could be a coincidence. I don't think so, but it could be. And it is kind of just cherry picking lyrics. So let's keep going with Lucifer. He says, first I must weave rhymes, then I'm a weave eyes in a state of belief. Then right here, all you got, Slim tells Marshall, he's nothing without him, and that Slim has just taken over Marshall, basically. So Marshall needs Slim, which you got top to bottom. That part kind of made sense. This is where it all ties in. Evil starts off with, woke up with an attitude today, not in the mood to play, stuck in my ruthless ways. That rhyme scheme is crazy, but just keep that in mind. I refuse to change, nothing to lose or gain. Guess I just choose to stay. Then brand new dance. There's not much to this. It's just shady being shady, being evil. Just hating on Christopher Reeves. Now we're at the trouble skit. I know you can't really see. What's that, bro? Then we're at the trouble skit. I know you can't really see it in the screenshot, but he basically drugs Marshall. He forces him to drink something, which we don't really know of on our first listen through. He says, thought you were dreaming, huh? Habits, which is the song, you know, right before trouble. Usually you can hear Marshall struggling as he's tied up and gagged. That's like just a part of the song. It's not a skit or anything. Then Slim is telling Marshall to try some pill, basically forces him to take a pill, and it knocks him out. I know I just said it's not a skit, but it's like something that Eminem does in the beginning of a song where he talks to himself, kind of. It's like a mini skit before the song. Houdini did it with the phone call. But then Renaissance, Slim buries Marshall and spits on his grave. Then Slim proceeds to spit the first song without the person that started it all for him, Marshall. Straight vintage Slim Shady on the track, this guy says, teasing what's about to be unleashed on the world with side B. Now this is interesting, all of this, because you can say a lot of it's a stretch, you can see me like not even understanding everything he's talking about, but there is some things to what he's saying that make sense. It's kind of odd that it even makes sense at all, just bottom to top, that should be like the opposite of making sense. So yeah, definitely a little interesting, not really too much to explain because I just read him explaining it, but let me know your thoughts on that. Let me know if you think that's real, if you think it's a stretch, there's a lot of people stretching the album right now, so... Let me know your thoughts. And yeah, thank you for watching. If you want more Eminem and music videos in general, click right up here. Got a card full of them. They're all on the channel too, so make sure to subscribe. If you want to try Audible, get a couple free audiobooks, click down below. Thank you for watching. Peace out. There's a quail, all the babies following. And then right down here, I just saw a baby bird and they're all looking for it, but I don't want to disturb them and make them all. He's screaming for them. He's trying to find him. And I'm worried the cat's gonna destroy. The birdie was just down there. I have a video of it. I have a picture. But they've been trying to look for him for like 10 minutes now. Right here. Baby. They're looking for the baby, but it's right there. It can't get over there fast enough. Come on, buddy.